will be able to have lasting impact of our project. That's why we, we are not only working with um, the victims of sex trafficking, we are also working with uh, key stakeholders, policy uh, makers, we had representatives from different NGOs and INGOs that are working for, um, for those girls. We also had representatives from uh, um, police department. We also had some lawyers. So first we want to see a kind of, you know, policy level impact and then uh, from the top. And then we also want to work with community. And also we want to see policy at the grassroots level. That's why uh, we hope that because um, we are working with, with you know key stakeholders and also with community, um, so we hope that we can uh, you know bring a positive impact or a sustainable impact of of, of our, our project. We are reaching out to the grassroots level from that bottom up approach where we engage with the communities, the girls themselves, and we include their voices in this research. The reason why we are including their voices in this research is because the policies that are going to be designed is meant for them so it's important for their own experience and their voice to be central in this whole discussion because we notice that over time their voices are missing from this table this discussion so including their voices means that they are part of that policy making process the, their experiences which are very unique to them are, are being heard and it's been included in the whole process so when they are part of a design of an intervention that intervention um, becomes a lasting and sustainable one because research evidence shows that when people are part of the decision-making project, they try to sustain it. And the OU has helped us in achieving this by linking us with the, the community stakeholders and um, the research teams we work with in these communities. And this is something that OU has done really very well. We are being trained um, to have those research skills that enables us to go in there and carry out research that is co-creative with the community. I think the, the, the greatest thing for me joining the OU is this aspect of having to do co-creative research with the communities. And this is an experience I've gained from working in the OU where we go, we're not going into that community to help solve a problem. We're going there to understand that the community know, have their own expertise and knowledge of how to solve their own problem. So we're only going there to support them, to ensure that they, they advance what they are doing and make it better and make it more sustainable. What OU does with resource is different from what many other universities do with their resource. Like, I mean, here at the Open University, um, our resource aims to bring a sustainable change in the society. So what we do here is like in our example as well, what we did was we started with resource activities. We really wanted to, first, we really wanted to understand the kind of challenges that uh, the, the victims of sex trafficking they are, they are facing in their lives and what kind of need they, they, they have. With the evidence that we collected or with our learnings from our resource activities, we designed, we organized other activities, you know, to, to work with key stakeholders um, that work for uh, the victims of sex trafficking. So that's why like, we use resource to, um, as, a, as a support to work with um, key people or key stakeholders uh, to bring sustainable change in the societies. The OU's approach to research is not the savior's approach to a community. They, 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 they understand that these communities are experts in their own experiences. And so what we do at the OU is that we engage the communities themselves. We bring in their voices, their experiences, their perspectives into our research design. Because we understand that when we bring in the voices and the experiences of those who are central in our research into the design, then those research projects will actually be accepted by the community. And um, we've got a lot of research where the research is coming from the global north down to the global south and just stay two weeks and carry data. We don't do extractive research in the OU. We do research that is beneficial to the community. We do research that helps um, sustain the community, that builds capacity within the community. I think that's one of the one of the things that, that's one of the highlights for me when I joined the OU was to understand that 
our research of Protadio is not extractive. It's actually giving back to the community and gaining experience. It's a shared responsibility between the community and the researchers. We work together with the girls to design interventions that are sustainable, interventions that are sensitive to their experiences, interventions that, that actually understand the journey of trauma they've been through without neglecting that experience. So I think when we, when we work in that kind of co-creative approach, we, 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 it's a buy-in for us really, it's a buy-in because we're not going to be meeting resistance in these communities. The communities understand that we are there to support what they know is working to get better, not coming to bring in the solution. Because we found out from evidence that when you come in with that um, deficit model into a community that it's either it, it hits the rock or it doesn't succeed beyond that research pr process or that research life. And after the research life, the project just dies. But when the community is part of that process, then that, pro that project can be sustained by the communities themselves. We are really encouraged like, to work for the community. So whenever we plan for a resource project, then we first think about, you know, um, what can we do for the community, for our resource community? So we are really mindful about the kind of impact we, we can have from our, from our resource or from our other activities that, that we do. So we are, I think we both of us, we are really you know, passionate about making a positive impact of our work in the society. We really want to contribute to stopping this um, you know, sex trafficking, which is a heinous work from, from this world. And then we want to contribute to making this world a better place to live.